Hi everyone, Daily Crafted here. I wasn't sure how much, how zoomed in I was. So I just wanted to kind of touch base with you and I had been um, working on a little diamond painting. It's the little one here and it's only like a 12 by 12 I've been working on, but I had wanted to take it downstairs and work on it real quick. And all I did was I grabbed I'll get to the point here in a moment. I'm like distracted. Uh, all I wanted to do was just grab it and run it downstairs real quick here. So, Rachel Ray gave me this. It's so cute. And I'm putting it to good use, Rachel. But um, something that had inspired me was Fiona over at Diamond in the Rough had made... Uh, had made magnetic trays. She had poured resin and made a tray and put magnets in it. Well, when I was downstairs and trying to work on this little painting, my tray was sliding and it was just, I'm not set up for doing, you know, big paintings down there. And I just, I try to keep it tidy and keep small ones down there. But either way, to get to the point was, so, Basically, I had my my kit, my small kit that had my drills in it, my little painting, and my tray. I was trying to use it. It was sliding around. I was thinking, oh my goodness, I wish I had one of those magnetic trays. Well, I didn't. So what I did was I improvised. I took, okay, so I had my drill pin that came with my little kit. And my scissors to open my bags. Oops. with my kit because I just like you know grabbed the few things to do it downstairs do the diamond painting downstairs and then of course I had my tray well I was once again I was trying to work with this and just you know kind of work on the painting and everything well I had forgotten that I had put on off to the side I had put an Altoids box um, I don't know if I wasn't supposed to say that. A Curiously Strong Mints box. How's that? Oh, I do have my Thanksgiving nails on. Uh, color she on, by the way. And so what I did was I went ahead, I grabbed my little Altoids box and one of my magnets from the, my uh, previous cover minders. And so one thing about these little trays, they do fit right in right in here so it made it nice and I could dump my whole bag in here and work on the most prominent color that I had so I was just like you know grabbing it scooping it and then that way what I could do is I could put my wax and just kind of like work on my little painting I'm just going to cover this because I don't know about those copyright things anymore lately. Um, but I could just grab this. And then put my magnet on the bottom. And work on my little painting. So I was seeing this as a possibility of a good option. If you're wanting to work in a different room, if you're wanting to do your diamond painting, wow, I missed that one. <laughs> if you're wanting to do your painting while you're traveling and in the car, you know, when we're just grabbing a painting to do. So, did I not grab a diamond there? Oh, I'm dropping things. I guess I need to reload my wax. So yeah, I just figured, you know, I could keep my wax here and just kind of in the lid while I'm diamond painting and it keeps my my cover minder is like you know staying pretty decent in place I mean if I wanted to put my scissors off it'd probably be better but it won't slide as much so I'd probably take the scissors out and stuff um, and put them off to the side these are those folding travel scissors so just to let you know 
Um, you can get them from Amazon. They're kind of hard to close sometimes, though. This particular brand is anyway, but and that's just to cut open my little baggies. So what I figured I could do is I could take all this, like I said, and when I just want to kind of wrap up and put it off to the side on one of the end tables, I can put everything back in here. And if I want to make sure my magno, magnet, yeah, magnet doesn't fall off, I can just put it right there just to make sure it doesn't fall off outside of the case. I got my hair tie because I have to keep my hair up most of the times when I'm diamond painting, otherwise it'll find its way into the painting. And then I could just stuff everything in this little cute bag. And like I said, put it on an end table. You know, not fold it a lot, but just put it off to the side on the end table. So hopefully you like that. I know it's kind of an, once again, an impromptu kind of uh, video and <laughs> still trying to work on other videos <laughs> I've just got, <laughs> I've got way too many projects I'll tell you so I hope everybody has a great day everybody take care we'll talk with you later bye